birds are among the most abundant insect species on the planet. Their population estimate is about one quadrillion. That's 15 zeros in total. They can be found all across the globe, including here in this humble urban garden. Their existence is essential to ensure the stability and well-being of the habitat in which they live in. These critters play an important role in their ecosystem, a role that they had been playing for tens of millions of years ever since the Jurassic period. Ants act as decomposers, feeding on organic waste, vegetation, insects, and dead animals. They help keep their environments clean by acting like a waste disposal system. By dragging their food into their nests underground, they decompose the food and indirectly fertilizing the soil around their nests with nutrients for the plants. Not only do they enrich the soil, ants also aerate it. By digging tunnels deep underground, the ants carry water, oxygen, and other nutrients to the plant roots as well. This Argentine ant colony is nested right beneath a small banana tree, all working together, foraging, and renovating the nest. This colony may consist of thousands of individuals, but they all act as one organism. Ants also serve as a crucial food source for other predators, such as birds, lizards, and other predatory insects. That means there could be danger lurking around these foraging ants. Like this beautiful electric blue banded jumping spider. These jumping spiders are small, but males such as this one sport a very dazzling display with its metallic colors. This spider, however, seems to be uninterested in the ants around it. There is also this elusive insect. At first glance, this insect looks like an ordinary ant, but look closely. It is actually the Asian ant mantis. This mantis species is tiny compared to others, but it utilizes mimicry as a method of predation and self-defense, disguising itself as an ant. It hides in plain sight while also tricking some ants to think that it's part of their colony. It would wait for any unsuspecting ant to approach it before pouncing and killing it. Fortunately though, this ant mantis is not hungry. On the same tree, these Argentine ants are foraging for a natural elixir, honeydew. By cultivating a tiny insect called aphids on this tree, these ants allow the aphids to feed on the tree's surface. Once the tree bark or leaves have been pierced by the aphids, the tree secretes a natural substance called honeydew. These ants gorge themselves in it, taking what they can back to the nest. Even this larger pavement ant is taking advantage of the excess honeydew extracted by the aphids. Back at the colony, one of the workers stumbles upon a pot of gold, a fallen sugar cracker. Ants are naturally attracted to sugars and sweets because of the rich calories they contain. And for a species that is always working and expelling energy, High calories means high energy source. By touching each other's antennae, the worker ants transfer chemical information to the other ant, telling that food is present, send back up. The worker then returns to the nest, leaving a chemical centrail invisible to the human eye. The central is used by the other ants to guide them to the food source. In this case, the sugar cracker. 
Soon, more and more ants arrive to the scene to feast on the prize. Slowly, they break up the cracker into smaller pieces before dragging them all down to the nest. This is perhaps the nest's luckiest day. These remarkable insects have been around long before humans have and have shaped the ecosystem with them. So it is important to treat these animals with respect. Their kind have proven themselves unstoppable by surviving multiple mass extinctions and global events throughout Earth's history. From the KT event that wiped out the dinosaurs 65 million years ago to the most recent ice age. And it is also likely that they will survive the next mass extinction as well.